All right, tomorrow I'm going to make a major announcement uh, for a Christmas special from the 15th of, uh, well, tomorrow to the 15th of uh, December. Well, good morning, everybody. It's a Monday morning, the uh, 14th of November. I am uh, going to start a new project. This is Printmaster Gold. And you can buy it online. It's not that expensive. It's uh, uh, it's Printmaster Gold 18. And uh, right now I'm using the Poster uh, 1 program. I know you don't know what that means, but if you got the program, you'd eventually figure it out. It's, it's a program you pretty much have. You probably can go on uh, YouTube and learn how to use it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to start a new project, and these these are the uh, different things that you can use, like a banner program, card, quarter fold, uh, iron-ons, uh, poster, blank page, which I'm going to use, certificate, label, scrapbook, all this stuff uh, you can use to from this program. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a uh, blank page. Oh, <laughs> I have to click next. I've got that highlighted, but I have to click next. And then it asks me if I want it tall or wide. And I'm going to take the wide. And then I click on finish. And it opens up 8.5 by 11 sheet uh, laying on its side. Now, all right, let's open it from the hard drive. Go to my reference folder. And go down to the horse. How to draw animals, the horse stuff. And I want to go to my uh, encyclopedia, anatomy, whatever, of the horse. And I want to open up this one. Now this is this is a much more accurate drawing of a horse's anatomy or skeletal structure. Uh, some pictures have the horse looking at you, which distorts the uh, stupid skull size. So you go for a uh, one that uh, will uh, show the skull sideways the way it should be, and then you grab the corner of the drawing. I think that's it right here. There's little squares at the center, at the edge or corner. And uh, you grab those. You don't grab the center because that'll distort the drawing. But if you take uh, your cursor and put it on the the uh, corner and drag it, oh, you know, widen it up, you actually keep it proportional. I picked out a piece of wood to be my base for this clay and let's see it is 11 inches by five and a half inches down here in this down here in the corner is a zoom out so let's go that and I want to keep it eight eight inches well that's not gonna work is it oh yeah it will because there's a measurement up here on the uh, there's a ruler up there so so from here to there is eight inches I know this might be confusing and I apologize for that and I'm gonna put the chest right on the one inch and uh, the body's pretty much at the uh, eight inch so let's just pull it out just a little bit more And there we are. Uh, put the front shoulder right at the one. And the eight inch is actually a seven inch long body, which is plenty long enough for what I need to do. So we have the page right here. And uh, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit the photo. 
pick the square and trim it so I don't have all this excess. Now, I guess I go that way and bring it up this way. Okay. And click OK, and then what it does is it automatically trims the horse. So let's uh, get this body right there. Now the head sticks out past, but I'll show you what I'm going to do to, to correct that. And I'm going to click Print. That prints out uh, exactly what you see on the screen, and the page size is right there. And uh, so you can see that the head needs to be matched up. Well, what I'm going to do, and see, oh yeah, let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the drawing down to right there, and I'm going to print it again, this time with the head in the page. Actually, I'm going to save it, because this will be uh, my horse, so I can pull it up again without having to go through all the measurements again. Save as. <clears throat> now, and what that does is it saves it to, let me open a project, open project, and I click on my projects, and here it is, down here. And to open it up again, I just double click and it opens it up. But I want to close it out because uh, I want a plain screen. All right, I got the uh, page now and I got the white background so I can see more clearly through the uh, prints. And I just line up the bones. Now with it lined up, I can take a couple pieces of tape and tape it in place. This is medical tape. It's the only tape I got right now. <laughs> but it, it, what it does, it, it gives you the uh, drawing of the horse lined up now. So I'm going to uh, key this page. And what I mean by key is I'm going to cut through both pages and uh, I'm going to angle it up so that get rid of that. Set this down and I can just line up quite easily the two drawings on the cut key, or the angles that I cut it at. And there's a full drawing, like we had on the screen in that uh, program. I'm hiccup, hiccuping right now. Binds it together forever. And that's how you scale up a drawing using Printmaster Gold. So that gives me, that'll be the guide for making my wire framework for the horse, which will be in the next video. All right, till next time, have a great night, everybody.